know about art. My Cartesian theater just sold out, and I'm no Ophelia. I'm, I'm the second merchant, perched and paralyzed by the sides of museums, unwilling to scale their walls, yet too frigid to fall in some oil paint puddle or blank paper paradise. I should probably just stay pre-professionally laundered so I don't get too frozen from all the doors I try to leave open. See, I keep switching sides, but the grass is never greener. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, but I'm still standing still. See, I don't know about art. I can't feel full on rainbows. I can't be a prism when our prisons still torture. I can't study Shakespeare when shackles bind my shadow on the other side of the planet, telling her, wrap away your hair, telling her, bind up your feet, telling her, don't drill down. Mm -hmm. Don't drill down in the underground where you'll dig up your shadow. Your shadow who looks in your pixelated, pictured eyes full of hunger and cardboard dreams and says, I'm going to write a poem. Says, I'm going to bracelet my arms and write on my walls with wax pencil until the words drip all the way down and change her world. I'll write you a play. I'll sing you a song. Oh, expose this black box microdrama with this clock and this scale and these three happy apples on this big projector symbolizing the change we need and oppression of oppression. And I'll spin my words into a tie-dye mixtape of power to the people in my play, my poem, my song will make a difference. <laughs> or it won't. <laughs> or it will look nice. Or sound nice. <coughs> Or I'll look down in the molten lava collecting in the tunnel between us and get transfixed by my own reflection. Because shit, sometimes I get really nervous when I can't look away. When I realize that narcissists had to be an artist, captivated like the rest of us by our own self-portraits. See, I want flowers. I want snaps when I rhyme baptized with eyes or flies. <laughs> My life is on dice and I'm tired of rolling. Rolling from pre-professional pantsuits and late night debates, papers, portfolios for democracy in developing nations or the ethics of humanitarian intervention or macroeconomics too. <laughs> See, I don't really sleep anymore. And it's sad when you can't remember what it's like to unrequired read. Mm. And your hands are too clean for making nothing but double spaced diatribes. I'm on a blue book walkway to saving the world. I live in a castle. I can't just indulge. I can't just divulge that I'm tired of all those Hey, let's get a meal this week. Friends, the ones who've got it all figured out and make me feel like I need to know. So I overanalyze my analysis, and suspicious of schizophrenia, I avoid being alone with anyone, weary of all one-on-one -on -one friends, wearing only white to reflect all the light and evade the exposition of my indecision. My vowels won't crush your thirst. My nouns won't stave your hunger. But I'm hungry too. See, sometimes it's not a choice. I'm not narcissistic or nihilistic. Sometimes the roots in my cerebrum push petals out my ears, paralyzed until I hold my hands up and forget. This is it. This is it. It's just the way the dust looks when the sun sets my carpet, or the way the snow sings in pure deep crescendo. Or the way the grass can grow waves like an ocean. Or the way I feel when you look at me. When you place a hand in that space behind my ear and whisper that the world is in these sheets and all that's real is in your eyes and I should just forget heroism and let your shirt buttons crack like crescents and fall like the faces of the moon. Ooh. My doppelganger disagrees. 
She reminds me from her side of the planet, whispering statistics as I stand in my stasis. A child dies from starvation every five seconds, which burdens this poem with a good 64. But we come and go talking of Michelangelo. Look, the men playing chess outside Aubon Pan make me anxious. Not the game, but the clock, ticking like a time bomb, catalyzing atomic reactions. I can't move a pawn with a deadline. I just get radiation sick from rapid decisions. I'm no Ophelia. I'm the second merchant. Art will not die if the mediocre discard their pipe dreams. The museums are full, the stages are set. The excess of artists haunts the streets of New York with white noise, 96% unemployed. Look away from the mirror and the midnight mirages. Forget the self-lies, the desk jobs save lives. My life is on dice and I am tired of roving. I'm looking down underground in the eyes of my shadow and she's looking down underground at this western dream. And all, all I want to do is just pull off my skull. Because I think if I found the right seeds, it could grow a really good garden. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I, and I can't decide. <laughs>